Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Space Engineers. I'm the Radio Man 03, and it's awesome to have you along. Look at this. I've got us a little bit of a minor ship started here today that we can tinker with and, and work on. There's a couple of things i got to do. I'm not quite sure if I've got everything right. Um, so I built it down over there <laughs> and uh, decided I was going to jump into it. This is after the Friday night stream. I spent a couple of hours just kind of fiddling around with things, trying to figure out, okay, so you know, when was the last time you actually built a flying ship. So I built it and I launched it to test it and sure enough I forgot the left and right thrusters, the side to side thrusters. So I started drifting and I actually drifted out over here and crashed right there, not badly. Was able to get it back up on the uh, pad over here and um, I added the uh, side to side thrusters on the top there. So we'll take a look at the ship in just a second. Uh, Friday stream, thank you for joining me. We made some changes. I went from those thin walls that I got down there at number eight on the hot bar. I swapped them out for the half walls instead. And then I found these window blocks. Now I thought, well, those window blocks look pretty dang cool. So I put some window blocks in. And then I put the big window block down here, and I've got another big one down there. And so this is all kind of uniform throughout here. So I did that. And then I found these doors here that have this entryway like this so we come in here now and we've got kind of a storage area back here if we want and over on this side we've got the bathroom mm -hmm. the bathroom i think it's hilarious that we could sit on all of these seats to rejuvenate our energy even these chairs behind here will rejuvenate your uh, your power in your suit which is cool and then i found the planter boxes which are pretty awesome so i put one of those up they're just decorative things put that there i put a couch right here and i could sit on the couch I can sit on the couch. Can't see me though. Uh, yep. Nope, nope. F? F to get back out. There we go. Gun rack over here because you never know when you might need a gun and some ammunition. And that's the changes I made here. And then I got the glass down here. Also sealed this up a little bit better too by using, well, to be honest, that's not really working very well at all. I didn't really notice that the other day. I had put in, um, the regular conveyors. Oh, what are they called? You guys know exactly what they're probably called. Conveyor. These conveyor junctions. I put these in there. And those actually sealed it up. And then I realized, well, there's a pipe one as well, right here. So I used that one instead. But I'm probably going to go back to the square one just because it'll seal this up and make it look more like a solid room as opposed to that gap in there. Hmm. Yeah, I probably should do that. Let's go ahead and do that right now. It's going to look better. We'll have all the pieces, parts with us when we need them. Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. It is a Wednesday morning. And I've been looking forward to coming back in here and show you guys what I did so far to the base. And the fact that I got a little bit of the mining ship going on, too. I thought that was kind of cool. I had fun with it. I know I did it off camera, but I'm trying to learn a few things uh, so I'm not quite so fumbly bumbly during the episodes, which is always kind of a, a kind of a worthless cause for me because I am fumbly bumbly. Let's fill these guys back up again. This should seal up our room very nicely. I went with the pipe ones just because we got the pipes going on, but this seals this so the room is looking more complete and there's no gap for the air coming through. Let's go see how that looks. Yeah, see, there we go. So now that all solidifies that up and makes it look nice and solid, and we've got a perfectly good room in here. Uh, bed, I didn't put a bed in because we've got the uh, marvelous cryo chamber here. Boom, 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 all that good stuff. Uh, and then, like I said, I did build the ship out here. You guys saw what I had. I removed some of the blocks that were along here, uh, and then I built it here, and then we drifted out over here and crashed down there. <laughs> and then I realized I hadn't put my side thrusters on, so what I did was I lifted off again, and I just tilted the ship so it listed back over here and I believe I crashed it again kind of right up in here in this area Yeah, you can see there's a little bit of damage uh, here and there most of it I got and fixed but you know so I put the side to side on and that helped dramatically of course this and then I put this little catwalk here too so we can actually get to the ship to get into the ship uh, X so if I come down here I can actually look up here and boop I'm in the ship Awesome. So I've got some of the things down in my hot bar, ons, offs, and all that good stuff. And um, But I did want to put a couple of sorters and um, ejectors on the ship. 
is what I wanted to do. So I've got the ejectors on here already, but that's not going to work. You know what? I could put the sorter and the ejector on the back here, right on that connector, right here. I could put the sorter and the ejector right here, and that would spit everything out and hopefully not hit anything right here. It could possibly drop down and run into this thing here. What I was going to do was put the sorter here and the ejector here, but I think that might cause some issues. When the stone falls out, it could hit this thruster right here. So I was thinking maybe what I do is I put it on the back here. It's going to be two blocks long, so the odds of it possibly taking some damage are pretty good. This is my first attempt at getting back into shipbuilding in Space Engineers, and i got to say I had a very good time doing it. I don't think I have enough juice in here. I think I need a second battery because I've got, th I've got five thrusters pushing up because I figure we're going to need that. It's got a medium-sized cargo container on it. Probably should use the large one, but... I didn't. I used the medium one. And I want the ejectors and the sorters on here so I can remove the stone but keep whatever ore it is we're mining. We've got an ore detector. We have a gyroscope. The one gyroscope seems to work just fine in getting the ship to handle. And I've got my rear, my reverse thrust uh, and then my forward thrust. I have two for forward thrust. Side to side, just the one. So it's nice and gentle and nice and easy going. But the up and down, down I've got one there. And, oh, did I not put the other one back in? Yeah, I did. There's another one right there, a down thrust. And then upwards thrust, I have five on each side. Three right in here. And then, well, I'm missing one because, well, <laughs> it exploded. Let's go thrusters, and I've been using these uh, sci-fi thrusters, which has been pretty cool. Uh, sci-fi atmospheric thruster. I believe this is the one I was using. Yeah, looks like it. So if I do that guy right there, you need steel plate in order to do this. Okay, so we, we got to get some steel plate. Can I actually access that steel plate from the ship? i got to think maybe I can. Maybe not. Hmm. Okay. Let's go uh, get some steel plate. Always need a little steel plate. Let's grab a hundred of those and a hundred of those. And we'll go back over here. And we'll put you right back where you belong. Right there. Right. Right. Come on now. Dang it. There we go. Right click on that. And then I'm going to come over here and middle click on that. All components were successfully withdrawn. That is such a handy little thing right there, man. I think the last time I played, they didn't have that stuff on here. So we did that. Now, in order for me to... Let's go back to our inventory control panel. We have all of our thrusters, atmospheric thrusters. Shift. I'm going to turn them all on and turn them all off. This also means my blocks that I have set up on the ship are not good either. So, I'm going to go back to G. Um, groups. I've got the thrusters here. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Uh, and I th oh, you know what I need to do first, though? Uh, let's go ahead and remove... Oh, well, it should be okay. Let's go um, inventory, control panel. I think if I come down here and hit all of these again, like so, block group, thrusters, and save, that should be good. And then go to G, groups, you drag this guy down here, and toggle blocks on and off. And then I should be able to... Hit three, and all of those are now going. Let's take a look and see. Looks like we've got exhaust going from these guys. Everybody appears to be moving. Looks like I may have been successful in doing that. 
think I did that the right thing. Yeah. Now, the only thing I need now is some armor blocks on here and just a little something to kind of give it a bit of a design. I got to be careful with how much weight I add to it, but I wanted to give it some design. So I've got um, a conveyors running off of each of the drills heading back here to the cargo container. I'm thinking about it now, and I probably should have put this cargo container up front right behind the um, cockpit and then put the batteries behind that, but I didn't do that. I put it I put it in the back with the connector attached to it so we could just back up and put it right on here. Let's turn everything back off again. Uh, we don't need the control panel. I can just go uh, like this and hit number three. And that should shut everything off, right? Yeah, everything's off. I love that. That's so cool. Getting used to all that stuff, of course. I was going to use the buggy cockpit, but it just wasn't working out right for me because it's only a two-banger. This is a three-banger, and just about all the blocks seem to be about three wide. So I went ahead with this industrial cockpit, which is so cool. It is just awesome looking. I've not taken this out and done any drilling with it. I wanted to kind of finish it up with you guys today, and then we'll take it out in today's episode. This guy right here, though, is definitely in the wrong spot. Uh oh uh-oh, uh-oh. Jeez. And apparently it was holding this thruster together. Or on. I don't think it was. It wasn't attached to that, right? So I've got four on there now. What if I do the same thing over here? What if I take this one off? I'm not even sure if I need all of this thrust that I have on here. Oh, I see. It is attached. This is the one that came off, huh? The down. Okay, so the downward thrusters are going to be in the wrong spot. We can put those back on in a second, so I'm going to have to redo that grouping again. If I do that, now if I take... Actually, if I put the sorter and stuff on here, it should push it out two blocks away from the ship. So let's, go, let's, land, let's get back down the platform here. Let's go ahead and grab what we need. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's see, we need the sorter. Conveyor sorter, small conveyor sorter. I need this guy. And I need the ejector. I've used these before in the last time I played, and I know I had them, and it was so much fun to have them uh, working for me. So if I do the sorter, I could do it here and shoot it out over the top of this. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it here and we'll see how it works. I need to push that arrow outward and then I need to put my number seven on the end of that, like so. And that should put us out a little ways. I'm just kinda of hoping that nothing breaks off of there. And I thought if I hit it, hook it up to the T-junction, the sorter can grab the stuff as it goes by and then shoot it out the ejector. So we're gonna give that a shot and see what happens. Number six. And again, we're going to flip that around. And number seven. And flip it around. There we go. Back to number one. We should have some parts in us. Use up what we have here. And up, up, up and over. Do that, 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 that. I'm missing some small steel tubes, it says. Unable to get the small tubes. You're 100%, you're 100%. You're 100%, you're 100%. Alright, beautiful. Okay, the next thing I need to do is I need to tell these sorters what it is I want them to do and not do, but I think it would be best if I was just in the ship. Let's go to the inventory. Now, if I go to the control panel and I hit sorter, let's call this one sorter number one, and that's sorter number two. So sorter number one, we want to go down here to the blacklist. The blacklist is stuff we don't want the ship to send to the ejector, but the white list is what we do want sent to the ejector. So if I come down here, I can do uh, stone. Stone. Add. Okay. Small conveyor sorter number two. This stuff apparently is all just fine. 
and I can go down here and do stone two. I probably don't need both of these, but I'm going to put two on just because I'm having fun with it and trying to relearn how all this stuff works. So I do that. So now I've got that taken care of. Now if I go to G and I take and put, well, let's go, let's go back to our inventory, back to the control panel. Let's grab those sorters. I wonder if I should toggle them on and off. Group uh, sorters. Oop, that is, <laughs> that is not going to work. Sorters. Okay. And then I can go back here to uh, ejectors. We'll call it ejector one. And ejector two. We'll see if this is going to work. Two. All right. And then I can take and shift those together and hit the block and call these ejectors. And save. Did I save the other one? We'll go into the blocks and find out. Uh, and then back to G. Groups. Ejectors. I've got them set to on off. Now where are my sorters at? I didn't save it, did I? I think that's the problem there. Let's go back to sorters. Yeah, I didn't probably save it. Okay, block group. Sorters. Save. There we go. All right. Beautiful. Okay, then. Now I should be able to do this groups. There we go. There's the sorters. We're going to do that. And we're going to toggle those on and off as well. So now if I'm in here, it's really hard to see from up here. And I can't seem to get the camera to zoom in too close either. I think once I launch, I can go back and do that. But the sorters, if I hit four and five, they should turn off. Yeah, they're red. Okay, so that's success. Is it on both sides? Did I get them on both sides? I did. Okay, so that works. Awesome. Huh, look at me. I'm learning. It's a lot to take in. There's a whole lot of lot, lot of lot of fun stuff about space engineers that you need to know about. Now, I did have a problem with the fact that the ship was doing. I'm missing thrusters all over the place here. I'm missing one there. It must have blown off, and then I got one over here that I need to replace too. Um, do I need these back here, or am I good with just the three on each side to lift this whole thing? Once I'm, I've got some mining done, I think I'm going to need them all. But in order to use all of them, I noticed that when I thrusted upwards, my power supply would go into the red, meaning I was, I was overdrawing. So I feel like I need a second battery on this. And I was wondering if I would actually be able to get away with that by going under here and drilling this out and putting a second battery right in here underneath the other one. See where it is? It's right there. I'm just kind of worried that I'm going to do something and the block is going to disappear on me. So I think if I put that there, and I put something like that right there, that should help hold it together. Maybe if I do this one here and this one here, no, right there, maybe that will help as well. So I'm thinking if I put a second battery in here, that's going to give me the power I need. Is that all the space I need? I think that is it. Okay, so let's go to G. Let's get our battery. B-A-T, battery. And, oh, look at that. That's going to fit in there perfectly. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip it around. Uh, actually, it was fine just the way it was. I put that there. Take out number one. Okay, I'm going to right click on that. If you guys don't know how to use the build planner yet, it's really awesome. Right, and then mouse wheel click on that. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Now I should set those to recharge as well. 
Okay, I've got them both set to recharge now. I've had one in one way and one in the other direction, so it was just flip-flopping those. So I think if I go now into G and I do my groups and I take my batteries and I pull them down here, I could tell this one to recharge on off and I could do a second one and do discharge on off. I don't know. Let me know if I need both of those activated. I don't think I do. Okay, so now we're both on recharge because the lights are yellow. If they're green, they're discharge. So let's go back to our... If I hit number seven, it should set them on discharge, I hope. Now they're blue. Oh, you know what? I don't think so. I don't think I want the discharge at all. So let's uh, go back to our groups. This one I'm going to remove. And I'm going to take number six. And put them back on recharge. Okay, now they're recharging again because they're yellow. So yeah, I don't want to do the discharge. Because I think what that does... If I discharge it, what I'm doing is I'm sending that in, that power out into the base. So anything that's attached to the base or working off the base will be able to grab that power and utilize it. So I think that was the mistake I had there. So right now they are on uh, recharge. So if I go back in here again and then I hit number six. There we go. Now we're on regular normal usage because the lights are turned green on there. Okay, perfect. Perfect. That's what I wanted. And so we'll go back in here and hit number six again. Okay. I've got my connectors hooked up on, on, off. I've got the thrusters on there. I've got the conveyor and the ejector on there. Con conveyor sorter. And then I have the batteries on recharge and discharge. Uh, to connect and disconnect, of course, is one and two. Number three turn all the, the thrusters back on and off. So I think what I need to do is get all my thrusters and make sure those guys are back in where they need to be as well. I shall come right back. I'm going to go ahead and take this off one more time and remove from toolbar. Going to have to go through the block group thing again, but there we go. We've got our, our downward thrust back in place. And then I'm going to go ahead and we've got some blocks here that need to be taken care of. The other thing I put over here, and we're going to tr try to fly the ship over to here at the moment, is put it right here so we can kind of work on the body of the ship and get uh, a little bit of uh, structure put in place around it as well. So let's see if we can get this done. First thing I need to go is back to G, remove this from the bar. Go back to my inventory, go to the control panel, Find all my sci-fi atmospheric thrusters, click them all together, block group for the third time already today, probably not the last time today, do thrusters, save, G, groups, thrusters, toggle block on and off, and we're good to go. Now if I jump out of the ship, None of the thrusters are on. If I go in here and hit three, all of them are on. Go back into here, and if I hit, this is going to be dangerous. This could, this could kill me. One, if I hit number two, two is to lock to the connector. If I hit number two, well, that didn't work out very well. <laughs> What's not on? I turned the thrusters on. I must have turned them off. Oh, you know what it is? The batteries aren't on. There we go. There we go. Let's see if I can get myself moved in here. <laughs> what a great start. <laughs> First thing that happens is the ship crashes down onto the landing pad. Oh. So let's, we're going to do a little repairs on here. Before we get back, let's go V. Oops. Remember, you're watching a noob here, people. Don't get frustrated. Give me a chance. <laughs> it's really um, 
disorienting for me to try to line up the ship. And takes me forever to do it. Okay, we've got connection. Now if I hit number one, we are connected. I can hit number three, turn all the, that stuff off, and I can hit number six and turn the batteries back to recharge. Important lesson learned. Make sure your batteries are on before you try to, you know, leave the base. Okay, so we've successfully moved it over here somewhat. Uh, I'm missing, obviously, a thruster here, so maybe that's why it seemed to work just fine with these guys right here. Maybe I should take these off and see what it does with the three. Well, I forgot I put the other battery on, so that's why we've got the power. So no, I'm going to leave it on there. I'm going to leave that thruster on there. You guys let me know it's overkill on the thrusters and, and let me know. Um, yeah, I kind of screwed that up a little bit. Okay, we're back in business with all the thrusters being put together again. We've got our connectors and our ejectors on. The only other thing I would really like to make sure we get done here is to have the blocks welded up. I was thinking maybe a little protection around these guys in the front would be kind of cool looking. Uh, let's get all of these guys linked up as well. I'm eager to take this thing out. I do not have a light on it. I should probably put a light on it. Probably notice I don't have that set quite right on the other side. The blocks. I'm missing some blocks. That's what happens when things explode. <laughs> they go all over the place. Uh, it, was, it was pretty exciting, I gotta say. I panicked, freaked out. It was late at night. I'd been up for a long time. <laughs> Longer than I should have been. I was like, no, I'm gonna lose the whole ship I just built. I spent about two hours on it. Coming up with different configurations and ideas and things of that nature, you know. Hmm, I think what I'm going to do here is actually take this off. And Once I get the, the, the ship started, you know, you can see what you want to do. I'm going to take those off of there completely. Yeah. And then number four, I'm going to put you in there. And I'm going to put you right in the dough in there. Okay, you going like that. What do I have you going? Whoa, whoa, careful radio. You are going to kill yourself with this thing. Number four? Where's my block that's got the nice grades to? Here it is, right here, this guy. Okay, number six. Yeah, we got the... Uh... What's going on here? There we go. that and then I can come back with this guy right here put him right there and I like the way that looks that is sexy yeah, I like the way that looks kind of protects them a little bit you know just a little bit so now I'm thinking that I could do is number six here again and then I could flip it around. Oh. Nope. Like that. And then I can go with a half slab in the middle here, like that, to give this guy a little bit of protection, too. So we do that. Uh, unable to light armor. Unable to place. The, what? Oh, sorry. I thought it was uh, looking the correct direction. What do you mean you can't place that there? Uh, you can go back here, and then we're going to flip you. No, that's that would be the wrong key. There we go, just like that.
I love building ships. I do. All right, that looks pretty cool. We're we're a little better off there. I don't think this block is going to take damage from this. The these well, I guess that's the intake, so it doesn't really matter. It's not going to take any damage from there. You can't have blocks like if I put a block. Let's go number four. If I put a block like right here, this thruster is going to melt that block. It'll damage that block. So you want to be careful about that. You don't want to be having that happen. Something like that right there. Pretty simple at the beginning here, right? I'm just kind of, again, getting my feet wet. Now, what if I do... These blocks are all adding extra weight to the ship. I'm hoping, though, I can do... Pushing the wrong buttons here. There we go, like that. Protect the battery a little bit, maybe. Oh. And then we've got the half slab again. Good times, man. If you're looking for a nice game to relax by and play, I've got to say, I'm pretty chill in here. It's very nice to just kind of come in here and relax. So there's our ship. I think it's uh, tuned up a little bit now. Give it a try. We'll, get, we'll give it a whirl. Um, looks like the sun is going down, unfortunately. Hmm. Uh, oh, real quick while I'm thinking about it, the wall. Since we went to a half wall, we lost a little bit of work right in here. But the catwalk is still looking pretty dang sweet out here. This block is all consumed because this is a half block wall. But uh, the catwalk looks pretty nice. I'm thinking... One of you had mentioned that the more lights I add, the laggier the game may become. So be careful with how much, how many lights I put on the place. So I thought that was kind of interesting. We've got our light. Um, watch this. Yeah. My energy, my suit energy, right back up again. I think that is so cool. So yeah, I got a little meet and greet area here and then the cryo chamber, so this works out just great. Uh, and then of course we've got our hydrogen over here. Uh, wow, we've uh, <laughs> we almost, we were close to falling out of the uh, sky here. I should probably go out and see if I can find some more ice too. We're, we're doing pretty good on the ice front. We've only gone through what, like a, th a thousand. So we're doing okay there. But uh, I wouldn't mind having more. Uh, and then we need a cargo container right here and we could throw all that stuff back in there like so awesome and our resources we still have a ton I've not done anything any work on redoing the piping and the connectors and the sorters up on the, the main um, control area up here I just haven't haven't got <laughs> I had not gotten around to it yet excuse me I hadn't got around to it yet uh, but we can do that. We could do sorters and we could tell what I want, where I want it to go, and all that good stuff. One of you had mentioned it's better to have everything shipped to the cargo containers first and then go into these areas second. So um, a couple of sorter blocks in here on top of the refineries. I could tell it, okay, I want you to take this in and process that. The other refinery, I could say, okay, I want you to take the, so the iron and the silver and you process that. And then I could also do uh, assemblers and... and be specific as to what I want it to make and I can be specific as to what I want these cargo containers to go ahead and accept and not accept as well so there's a lot of freedom to be extremely creative and I had forgotten that as too it's just you just there's so many options so many options all right I'm gonna take a quick break variety is beeping me on the on the phone let me uh, take a quick break I'll come back and we will move forward and it's nighttime anyway so I probably won't get much done here at night I'll do some thinking as to you know what's the next thing I want to do here on this uh, really enjoyable game I'll be right back well as I've been waiting for the Sun to come up which I believe it's starting to do it of course has started to rain as well so there's no time like the present to get started and go see what we can uh, you know get done Let's see if this is all going to work. So first, we know we need to hit number six, turn our batteries on. <laughs> then number three, turn our uh, thrusters on. Hit number two. Disconnected. 
Should be able to pull forward. Let's go Alt and scroll in. I don't know why it pushes me so far back like that, but I, yeah, I, I don't know. So we have an hour worth of power. That's it. It's not a whole lot, really, is it? I'm going to need to be out here to fly, see what I'm doing. Some of you I mentioned, do you, do you guys like to play while you're in first person or third person? And a lot of you are the first person type players, it seems like. Oh, some of you, those of you, you know, left a comment. First person is more your style. I'm trying to get used to the whole thing, so I'm going to go in, in this direction here. We're looking for ice. A lake of ice. Or a stone node, possibly. Ice. There it is. So there's some ice there, but it's not a lake of ice. Let's go to our GPS. Which is going to be in our inventory, not in the G menu. And GPS. And new from current position. Ice. There we go. I'll leave that right there. Still looking for that nice lake. If we don't have the lake, then we'll, you know, get what we can out of these guys right here. Okay, I found a node. I believe this is a magnesium node. We'll see. Don't really care what it is, just as long as I can practice trying this out. Getting a little bit of ore out of this guy. Let's get down level with him. We'll move in on him here a little bit. Nickel. Okay, so this is a nickel one. Let's go ahead and do I don't have my drills set up on this, huh? So let's go to our inventory. Uh, control panel. Drills. I forgot to do the... Uh, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and make this drill one. Drill two. There we go. We're going to grab you and grab you. Blocks. Drills, save, back to G, groups, the drills down here on 8, toggle on and off, there we go, alright, now we should be able to do this and see kind of what we wind up with here, whoop, 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 whoop. not too fast, down a little bit further, okay, we're getting a little dust kick up, that's cool. Man, that's cool. I like that. Well, that's tough to see. Added lights to the ship as well, so if it's seven, I've got some lights now on the ship, which we don't really need at the moment. And then I need to do number four and number five to see if they're going to kick out stone. Hmm. I wonder if they're on. Go back to our inventory, control panel. Uh, we have. Ejectors. They're on. Oh, let's see. Throw out and collect all. I think that's what I'm missing right there. There we go. It seems to be only working on the one side, though. Turn those drills off. Awesome. Yeah, 
It shows that both of them are, d are set to do that. Ejector on. Ejector on and on. Okay, so maybe there's something wrong with my sorter. Sorters are both on. Hmm. Oh, whitelist. Oh, I wonder if I was throwing out the stuff I wanted to keep. That might be a possibility. I may have just thrown away a bunch of this. Let's check our inventory. How we doing? Okay. We are still collecting the nickel. Looks to me like that stone is clearing the thrusters just fine. Something I was kind of concerned about. But it looks like it's doing just fine there. Uh, we have reached our maximum capacity, it looks like, in our cargo container. And now the drills are holding materials. So let's go ahead and turn off the drills. We'll turn off number four. And number five. And we've uh, managed to pick up a bunch of nickel, which is awesome. Now, the ship jumped up real quick there without any problems at all. We're just a little ways away from the uh, iron mine build site that we're working on. <clears throat> that was awesome. It gave us enough time to get the job done. Let's uh, go a little bit over this way, a little bit down, and... Oh, there we go. We've connected. All right, so the first thing I need to do is hit number one. We are connected. We are green. And then I could take number three and turn those guys off. The thrusters are off, and that should be everything. And then the battery is number six. Now, did we get that right? Batteries are recharging. Very good. At least that one is. We have yellow lights on top as well, so it is up. To, okay, perfect. And then let's go see if this is actually taking stuff off the ship here. Uh, it should be. Maybe. I don't know. We've got a lot of stuff. You can see the assemblers are full. Large cargo container. Here it is right here. There's our nickel ore. It's being turned into nickel. Perfect. All right, so that all worked just fine. I've got a bunch of stuff in here. Yeah, we can, we can build and build and build and build for a while. It, I, the amount of material I got out of this hole in the ground that I dug over here uh, is quite a bit. I don't have to drill for quite a bit of time, I don't think. I've got quite a bit of material uh, stored up. So uh, I think we could get possibly started on our ship to go to space. Am I ready to go to space? Probably not, but, you know, we're going to go up there and give it a shot and see what happens. That's for dang sure. Uh, but you guys leave your tips down below and let me know what it is I need or don't need uh, to think about as I go into space. Some of you have been really, really helpful with your comments. Details, details, details. As much detail as you could put in would be great. But there's our little miner ship. It worked. Had a couple of flaws in it and stuff. Rains like every day here. Uh, a few flaws. We didn't find an ice lake, but we did find some ice in the ground. And then we did do a little bit of drilling with the ship. We got some nickel and brought it back. We didn't really need it, but uh, at least it works. And it looks like I've got it down to where it's working properly. So I'm really happy about that. Very happy about that. That is a huge... Well, I didn't crash. Well, not twice today anyways. Just once. <laughs> 
Turn those batteries on, man. I should probably put all the group blocks in order of what I need to do as I launch, and then when I land, go back through that same cycle again. But uh, there it is. We've done it. We have uh, we have created a mining ship, and we did some mining, and it uh, it was really fun. It was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man Zero Three. I want you to have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time. I must have left. I was fooling around with the suits. I must have left the lava suit on me. <laughs> lava. Hot magma space suit. We'll talk to you guys next episode.